What's going on guys? It's Chris, Bonafide Hustler, coming to you live from my garage. Today we're going to talk about a topic called complacency. Um, it's just something that sometimes, every now and then, I'll struggle with it. Even though I'm a really good hustler at some of this stuff, you know, there's this thing called complacency I want to go over with you guys, just to make sure you guys don't do that kind of stuff, okay? Um, also, I want to go over some of the things that I've found this week, and some of the things that I've sold this week. Um, so let's kind of kick it off. Uh, what's been going on in my life? Um, this past week had a pretty nasty skateboard injury. It's kind of healing up right there. Um, so that kind of like knocked me out. I was going to actually do a video um, the day. Actually, I was skating back to my house on my longboard, uh, getting ready to do a video, and uh, just on the way back, I don't know. I don't know what happened. So I totally busted ass, and uh, yeah, I didn't really feel like doing the video after that. But here I am today. I'm getting healed up. I'm not fully healed, but I feel pretty good. Um, see what else happened. I went to... Uh, I, play, I was garage sailing this past weekend and I went to a uh, Whole Foods to go get some breakfast tacos and uh, there was a little kennel thing with, you know, save these dogs kind of thing, pet rescue thing and my girlfriend was looking at that and I was like, oh my god, let's get these breakfast tacos and then get the hell out of here and, uh, well, she saw a dog she liked and we actually got a new dog. So it's really good. Um, it played out, but, you know, now we got all these, like, different things going on and I'm trying to make little hustler videos and I got these little puppies you know, screaming around, so, um, you know, it's fun, but it's just a it's kind of interesting weekend, let's put it that way. Um, so let's talk about what I have found, well, let's talk about what I sold this week. Um, this past week's been pretty good, actually, I don't know why, it's just been really good. So some of the things I've sold this week, I've sold a lot of bikes, um, had people kind of coming left and right up to my, uh, you know, cul-de-sac and buying bikes from me, which is really good because bikes are, they make substantial profit. And I'm going to pretty much teach you how to get into those in subsequent videos. Although I have made two already, so take a look for those two videos. Um, let's see what else. Some of these antique boxes that you might have seen from like maybe video four, maybe video three. Um, some of these like old, old boxes that I pulled out of the back of my car. Those things are selling too in my antique mall, which is great. Um, I love seeing stuff like that sell. Um, from video two or maybe three, I bought a bunch of letters that spelled the word, uh, the word florist out. <coughs> And I'm down to like one letter right now. So I've made far past the money I needed to make on that deal. Um, and the letters have just been kind of like the icing on the cake. And there's still one letter left to go. It's the I, which I'm hoping, I don't know. It just doesn't look that great. All the other letters look really cool. But the I just looks kind of like a shoebox. Anyway, it's not that exciting. Anyway, um, and then I came across, well, let's talk about that one uh, remote control deal from maybe video number six or eight. But there was a remote control deal where I laid out some uh, really cool remote control cars, some vintage ones. I'm up 200 bucks in that deal so far. I still got like three cars left to go. And um, I should be in, yeah, I think the title of my video on that one was like how to make 300 to 500 bucks on a remote control deal. And I am on my way there. I'm almost there. So I just don't know if I want to sell the last three. But I made pretty good money on it. So uh, let's talk about what I've uh, picked up this week. Okay. So... Uh, this past weekend, I went to you know a bunch of garage sales, a bunch of estate sales. Didn't find too much, but one in particular, one actual garage sale, I did find some more remote control crap, of course. And uh, for about 50 bucks, exactly 50 bucks, I came out with three kind of like shoddy kind of planes, one really really cool unbuilt plane, and a keyboard of all things, right? So I want to kind of show you what you might be able to find in some of your garage sales, estate sales. Buy stuff like this. This right here is just a you know, it's a plane, well, it's a almost working plane, but it's a remote control plane. Um, and you might think, well, it's missing the wing. Well, the wing is over here. And I'm going to put some time and effort into this one to get it back running again. Probably should be about 10, 20 bucks. But that's pretty cool. I mean, that alone is probably worth like 50 to 100 bucks. So that's pretty neat. I'm pretty happy about this one. Um, we got some more stuff over here. Let me put this plane down. Um, here are the wings to one of the other planes. This is a, uh, a glider wingspan, so you can see how big that glider is going to be. Um, that glider is just sitting right here. It's almost built. It's got a lot of electronics ready in it and it's ready to go. So this was part of that $50 deal. Pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let's talk about some other stuff. Remember how I said there was like one unbuilt plane in that deal? And this was the one where I was like, God, please throw that into the deal. And that's why you guys should bundle out there. It's very important to bundle. This right here is a uh, hard to find Great Plains Sportster 40 MK2. It's a gas powered plane, but it's a remote control plane. It's still in the box. Everything is here. So 
So this alone is going to make me a big profit already. I'll probably make a hundred bucks on that deal just on this thing. So pretty cool. Let's talk about that keyboard that I found because the keyboard's interesting. It's not one of those like rinky dinky keyboards, right? This one actually has a bunch of this stuff in the back. See all those like outputs, inputs, and this and that. So this is actually a legit, a legit keyboard that needs to go to like speakers or go to headphones, but it doesn't have built-in speakers like some of the crazy crappy keyboards you find at like thrift stores. This is a real deal keyboard. Um, this was kind of just thrown into the deal. I saw it power on. I don't know, Jack, you know what about keyboards, but I know it's worth more than, you know, what it is. It got thrown into the deal. I know I'm going to make some money on this one. Cool, huh? All right. So let's talk about some more stuff I found. Today, I found an OGIO, I don't know if it's OGO or what, a uh, luggage carrier, right? And so I'm like browsing this thing. I'm, you know, I know quality when I see it. This thing's really quality made. I like it. It's in really good condition. And uh, on the side here, it said transporter. So I'm assuming that's the model name. But of course, I look it up on eBay, and uh, it's worth more than the $7 that I paid for it. So sweet. Um, I'll probably end up selling it for like 50 bucks. Let's talk about <coughs> a land camera. I think in video two or video one, I showed you a bunch of old cameras, and here's a land camera too. Um, these are called the land camera swinger models, but they're really cool. This is going to go great by antique mall. Probably sell it for like 30 or 50 bucks, but I spent like two bucks on this thing. So it's amazing. It says 3.99 at the bottom, but I went on a day that was 50% off. All right. Um, you know, if you go to your Goodwill's <coughs> Salvation Armies, you're going to find mint condition things like this. This goes around dogs so they can go hiking with you and you can put the little dog treats in there and water or whatever you need to put in so they can carry some luggage too. Pretty cool. This was like three bucks. What a great deal, right? Totally amazing. That same place, we also found a buttload of leashes. Dog leashes, you know, if you're going to live in a dog town, dog leashes are a great thing to have because you can sell these just real easy on Craigslist for like one or two bucks a piece, maybe five bucks. But I picked up so many of these things for two bucks. So, and that's not two bucks each. That was two bucks for a bag full of this stuff. I also picked up, um, let's see, this past week, I picked up this for five bucks. This is the Trek Jet 16. This right here, it's going to yield really good profits, considering I'll probably sell it for like 50 to 60 bucks. But if you look at the fact that I spent five on it, oh man, you know, I think my risk is going to be all five bucks on that one. I'll make a lot of money on this one. And then, I think I'm going to keep this, but I'll just show you what's kind of out there. You can um, kind of like lowball people on Craigslist when you get bored um, as a hustler, and sometimes I'll just lowball people for things that I don't need or need. Well, here's something that I actually, uh, I don't know if I need it or not. It's a remote control sailboat. It's pretty cool. Just hit my ceiling. Probably just appreciate it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be pretty cool. I've had one before, and they're pretty fun. So paid 70 for it, and I'm sure I can sell it for like 150 to 200 bucks. So we'll see what happens. I'll probably play around with it for a while, get bored, and then sell it. So let's talk about now what this complacency thing is. Let's go right to like the main topic. Okay. So I've thought about this, and the reason why I want to go over this today with you guys is because every time I come across a really, 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 really big profit, I'm like, oh man, that was such a good profit. I made a lot of money on that. That was great. Um, you know, maybe that day I kind of tend to take it easy, or maybe the next day I take it easy, thinking like, oh, this is so good. It's like life on easy street. <clears throat> well, I want to show you guys, like every time I start feeling these big profit days or whatever, and they happen quite often, it's very important not to lose sight of the end, okay? And the end is, for me, that, I don't know, I want to be in a totally different neighborhood. Maybe I want to be on an island surfing somewhere one day. So the end is like somewhere way out there. <clears throat> but the end is not here right now, okay? Like if I make a big profit right now, it's not like I can retire. So the big profit, it's very important that when you have a big profit that, you know, you, you keep going and you keep pushing, okay? And that's what we're talking about today. How to not be complacent, okay? Complacent to me is like just kind of, eh, you know, once you um, have something really good, you kind of just like sit there on like par, you know, P-A-R, par. You sit there on par. And it sucks, right? Being, being par, being average is no fun, okay? Now, when you get a big profit as a hustler, you want to actually, you know, this is kind of what this separates the real hustlers from the fake hustlers to me, is when you get a big profit, you're, you're supposed to do certain things with it, in my opinion, okay? So let's talk about what happens when normal people have a big profit. Normal hustlers, when they get a big profit, 
They'll feel really good, that's for sure. And then they're going to start spending some on themselves. Maybe they go out, have some drinks, they have a dinner. They feel good. They feel like it's going to happen all over again. Well, what happens is you feel good, you get complacent, you reinvest a little bit or whatever's left over from the fact that you spent some of it. And then, yeah, you might have another big profit. That's cool. So that's kind of on this way right here. But for one big profit, you basically get one more big profit. Here's how I operate. When I get a big profit, the very first thing I do is I start making more ads for just random stuff I have laying around. I try not to be complacent, okay? I try to take a step forward and do something different. So I make some more ads, okay? I get on Craigslist, I get on eBay, I get random things that I know, oh, I'm pushing until next week, it's no big deal. I start getting to those things right now and I'll put ads up. And then, very important, I reinvest. I reinvest a lot of that money back into my own business. Because when you reinvest, you expose yourself to more big profits left and right. And then I spend a very little amount on me, okay? Very little amount. So it's very important here is where most people go wrong. Just make sure that when you have a big profit, that you make a decision to make more ads. Take a step forward, take an extra hour, and start making some more ads for just random stuff laying around your place that you haven't got to yet. Reinvest a lot of the money that you, can, that you made from that big profit into your own business, and you shall see three to four more big profits. Okay, now that's the difference right there. So where do you fit in? Well, that's up to you. I aim to have a bona fide hustler channel uh, very soon up on the internet, okay? And on that channel, we're gonna have all kinds of blogs, uh, tips, you know, easy to see stuff like this, and the book I've been working on. So, if you like these things, please give me a thumbs up. I need to know that I'm doing well, you know? Um, and then comment if you can. Um, and then if you have something that you want to like tell me privately, you know, get me through a private message or whatever. Say, hey, it would be really nice if you do these kind of videos or, you know, what do you think of this? I've had uh, some questions here and there. So that's cool. I would love to, you know, delve into like different things to hustle. But these are the, these are the things I'm going over in my videos are things that I look at, things that I'm really, really, really good at. So I'm trying to uh, show you guys how to make a lot of money just like I do. Okay? Take it easy. Have a good day. Comment. Thumbs up. Take it easy. Bye.